This is Akashvani, the news read by Prem Sharma. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today inaugurated the newly developed Ayodhya railway station known as Ayodhya Dham Junction railway station in Uttar Pradesh. The station reflects the temple architecture of the upcoming Sri Ram Mandir of Ayodhya. The station is developed at a cost of more than 240 crore rupees to cater to around 1 lakh passengers daily. The three-story modern railway station building is equipped with all modern features like lifts, food plazas, shops for puja needs, child care rooms and waiting halls. Prime Minister Modi flagged off a new category of superfast passenger trains, the Amrit Bharat Express. These are the Rabanga Ayodhya Anand Bihar Terminal Amrit Bharat Express and Malda Town Sir M Vives Varaya Terminus Bengaluru Amrit Bharat Express. The Prime Minister also flagged off six new Vande Bharat trains. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the nation through his Man Ki Baat program on Akashvani tomorrow. The 108th edition of the program will be broadcast on the entire network of Akashvani News and Doordarshan at 11 a.m. The program would also be streamed on the YouTube channels of the Prime Minister's Office, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, and DD News. The cabinet expansion is taking place today in Rajasthan. Governor Kalraj Misra will administer the oath to the administrator of at Rajhavan at 315 this afternoon. Bhajan Lal Sharma was sworn in as chief minister and Diya Kumari and Prem Chand Berwa took oath as deputy chief ministers on the 15th of December. The BJP has asked all the its MLAs to remain present in Jaipur today. The Indian Meteorological Department has forecast dense to very dense fog conditions across the North Indian states today also. I am the forecast dense to very dense fog at most places over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi and Uttar Pradesh and a few places over Uttarakhand. The agency also predicted dense fog at isolated places over northern parts of Rajasthan and isolated places over Jammu and Kashmir and the lower division of Himachal Pradesh. The weather agency also predicted the minimum temperature to hover around 7 to 8 degrees Celsius over the next 4 days. In an advisory for dense fog, the med department has asked advisors to use fog lights and travelers to stay updated on the schedules of airlines, railways and state transport. Meanwhile, the air quality in the national capital remains in the very poor category with the AQI level standing at 363 this morning. The Ministry of Home Affairs has declared Canada-based gangster Lakhbir Singh Landa as a terrorist. The ministry in its notification said he was affiliated with the Khalistani group Babur Khalsa International and also involved in the planning of rocket attack on, on the Punjab Police Intelligence Headquarters in Mohali in 2021. It further said that gangster Landa and his associates have been comprising to disrupt the peace, law and order in the state of Punjab by carrying out targeted killings, extortions and other international activities in different parts of the country. The flexible program of the External Affairs Ministry, No India Program for the Youth Diaspora has completed its 20 years. Secretary of Consular Passport Visa and Overseas Indian Affairs in the Ministry, Muktesh Pardesi addressed the valedictory session of the 70th edition of No India program yesterday in New Delhi. The 70th No India program was held from the 11th to 29th of this month. 34 participants from Fiji, Mauritius, Trinidad and Tobago, Suriname, Sri Lanka, South Africa, Myanmar, Malaysia and Colombia attended the program. The ministry in a statement said that the program has reached a significant milestone of 20 years making it one of the longest running diaspora engagement programs of the government of India. It added that the program was launched in 2003 with primary objective of fostering close connections between India diaspora youth and their ancestral homeland. Two protesting students died during the demonstration by Korean language test candidates at Balkumari Lalitpur today afternoon. The unrest stems from the Korean government's recent decision bearing those who previously took EPS examinations from applying for new vacancies in the manufacturing sectors, sparking discontent and de demonstrations among EPS students at Balkumari Lalitpur, Nepal. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar. 